Now this is an interesting one because it brings in <laughs> ratio but also angle properties. We know that if I leave S out of it for the time being, that R and P, R plus P must add up to 180 degrees because we've got a cyclic quadrilateral. Well, R and P, the ratio of P to R is 4 to 5. So therefore P divided by R is the same as 4 fifths. Which means that if I bring the 5 across times 5 P, take the R across times R must equal 4 R. But if I solve these two simultaneously, from here I can say that R is the same as 180. Take P. So replacing that letter R, I can say that 5 P should equal 4 lots of 180. Take P. So 5p is equal to 4 lots of 180, which is 720, take 4p. Bring the 4p across, add 4p, 9p is equal to 720. So p works out to be 80 degrees. Now p represented four parts. Here's the ratio kicking in. Four parts is worth 80 degrees. So therefore, one part is worth 20 degrees. <clears throat> I can work out six parts. Five times it by six, so that's 120 degrees. I can work out five parts by times in by the five, though I don't really need it, 100. Now go back to this six parts. Six parts is for Q, that angle there. And I just established that's 120 degrees. So therefore S must equal 180. Take 120. S must be 60 degrees. Because I'm back to the cyclic quadrilateral.